I'll be reacting to Don't Toy With The Miss and Nagatoro Episode 3. I will be watching it from Kanchiol's website and I'll be starting my reaction in one, zero, go. I'm pumped up for days. Hopefully nothing happens to our senpai this week. Nah, who am I kidding? Something's gonna happen to our senpai. It's just a matter of what's gonna happen to him. I can see why he... I can see why he'd be scared. But, with him blushing, you can say he's considering it deep down, though. Yeah. Whoa, um... Oh, it has to be a dream. Yeah, it has to be a dream. I don't think it's... Or is it actually happening? Oh, okay, never mind, it's actually happening. <laughs> you can tell! He may be balling up his fist. But since he is a young, warm up, blooded young buck, we all know that deep down. Deep down, and y'all know what I mean where I mean deep. We know that he was someone enjoying it on the inside too, because that blushing, that blushing wouldn't be just there for shits and giggles. <laughs> I don't know why he really laughed for a bit. I don't know what came over me there, but... Yeah, that's fucking adorable. Now, that's the type of stuff I love to see in this series. Positive, spirited stuff. For the win! Now! And saying that, uh, let me give off my written on the episode. So far. Gotta say, if the episode could... Continues having that kind of tone? Holy shit, it's gonna be amazing. And I'm loving the character of Nagatoro because her teasing at the start of the series is a little bit rough, but now she's actually becoming a bit gentler. At the very least. So I dig that too. Okay, they look within Kiss Shot's distance there at the final bit of the opening. Well, that piece, he's got to consider it destroyed now. You know, this could be something good for his manga too, because seeing uh, Nagatoro in motion, he could probably help him allow him to much easily portray a character with expressions in a manga, so this will actually be good for him. I do like how he's considerate, though. What's <laughs> with the Mia? <laughs> oh man, I just love them cute little Neckos. That was seen in, in the episode sometimes. Wow. In most cases it would, but in some cases it wouldn't. Oh shit. He should know why. <laughs> he does. He says that via uh, Egan till he's tempted. And you can offer it up on like a film. Jeez! Kind of reminds me of...
Oh. Oh shit. She's definitely gonna use this as fuel now. Yep. That flesh thing, give it away. I mean, I know she says it wasn't a flesh thing, but it looks like one to me. I mean, hey, that's what she gets for tempting Mother Nature! With all that teasing, no. Okay, that wasn't his fault that time, though. That was Mother Nature. Oh. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind if we get to see his parents. Oh shit. And that explains why we see people that look like her parents, which I wouldn't be surprised if we see her parents at this rate. Oh shit, the blushing. <laughs> she's gonna invite him over to her place. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, what the way she's blushing like. <laughs> oh yes! I like her touch where you see his glasses slip a little bit there too. It's fucking adorable! Yes! Fuck yeah! <laughs> I don't think she talked like... Like, every single time our, the, our senpai imagines something's gonna happen, Something else entirely different occurs from his expectations. Okay, I understand maybe thinking the parents would be teasers, but why would he think that she would have a knack that be a teaser too, though? Oh, damn, I was hoping we'd see the family. Fuck. Got any shame wrong about that? Huh. I actually like moments like this where you see Nagatoro well mannered, considerate. I like this. It actually layers her a lot more. It's quite the imagination there. No, 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 no. Fuck, he fell into the bait. Come on, come on, boy. You fell for that! You, you should have seen that coming! You should have seen that. Oh, but I'm not gonna blame him, he's inexperienced, so it's, it's good, it's good. It is. I'm assuming it is. That means it is. It's like even like the non-complete answers can provide a full answer. I'd say play video games, that's what you can say as an answer to try to prevent the teasing. Uh, he already fell for another- <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying, thinking too. He showed us some video games. Oh, that our boy. He actually did deserve that teasing that time. Yo, that kind of looks like kind of like a PlayStation 4. Hope a board wins. He needs, to, he, he needs to take at least have a single W. Eventually. I mean, yeah, it makes sense I should be using... Oh. Using the Neko character. I like the nya 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 sound. Oh. There's a boy one! Woo! I love that smugness. Now she's going to want to keep on playing matches until she wins eventually. Yeah, he's got to enjoy this uh, rare W. Yes, I love that smug. He's got to win this. Well, wow, is he even doing less damage this time? I'm not gonna blame him for uh, being distracted. Okay, if she knocks out his kid, that's broken. I don't know how can she do that much damage. His health bar was blue. Okay, <laughs> he's gonna be fully focused now. <laughs> Fun to go. That's what matters the most. Aww. All right. Good. He came out with it. You know what he done? He probably is, though. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, yeah, I explained to you imperfectly why she would use that character. Only gorgeous Kardashian lunch. Oh, snap. I've been actually been hoping to see him interact with Nagatoro's friends. We all know where he's going to sit. The landmine! Oh. Oh, boy. I've been waiting for this, though. It was going to happen eventually, especially, um... They all look like they're radiating evil auras. You know, it's better you go there at least somewhat quickly. That's a good way of looking at it. But that's not going to happen, though. He's going to be turking in by the conversation, and he's going to forget that he should be eating quick. Because that's what happens sometimes when someone thinks they'll eat. You know, they've all got those teasing phases. Oh! No, no, she's just... Oh shit! Oh! 
That guitar looks like he wants to murder someone. Oh shit. She has a face of don't stay in your lane one. <laughs> That's the thing that Thor was making. Oh, you know what? It doesn't imply that she might actually have romantic feelings for her senpai. Because of the way she was overprotective of her boy. She has those yandere eyes. Yeah, she no yeah, she's noticing. The orange shirt friend. I think she's trying to. I think she's trying to stretch out Nagatoro. Oh. Whoa, yeah. We know why she did that. She's trying to t yeah, she's trying to test out Nagatoro how much she appreciates our boy. Whoa! I think we're about to see a bitch off run now. She is, but Nagatora is gonna probably know it is happening. I mean, she wouldn't have prevented the other friend from touching his fo his head. I mean, uh, she can kind of quantify as a friend, though. The whole boy thought it through. He didn't think it through, did he? Yeah, he really should have said it. Said at least maybe a friend. I like, oh, <laughs> I love the way she was annoyed. I like that though, she's becoming overprotective of her senpai. No, 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 the, the ladies. What he can do is fervently slap him back by... Okay, oh, that's what she meant, okay. I love that though, we're seeing more character development for Nagatoro then. Yeah, this feels more like practice for a comedy duo, but fuck it. Maybe it could actually lead into something. I mean, there's gotta be more to it than just that, though. Oh! Oh, I thought he actually did it on screen. I was like, how to with the Nekos, they always like different Nekos too. Hey, that isn't up for ever being called creepy, though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> 
Man, Nagatoro has a variety of misses. Oh, jeez. All right, let's uh, let's hear it. Hopefully, he has something epic. Oh, Aww. oh shit! Was it the heartbeat? Got a good feeling about this. Yeah, I mean, I can see where Nagatoro is coming from. He's probably feeling deep down that this will be for her, her senpai's own good. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I mean, hey, like I told you, it seem to hate that too much, though. With the way she's blushing. <laughs> yeah, he definitely fell in for that. He deserves it. That bit of teasing deserves it. <laughs> no, that is something he doesn't deserve to be spared. <laughs> All right, I loved it. Wow. I'm actually going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. It was by far the best Don't Toy With Me Miss and Nagatoro episode by fall. I mean, there's a lot that I could have take that could be taken from this episode. For one, we're actually seeing straight up that Nagatoro, yeah, she straight up has to have at least a bit of romantic feelings for her senpai because I don't think they would have emphasized that scene where they're trying to prevent her friend from smacking her senpai like that. They wouldn't have done that for no reason if she didn't have romantic feelings towards her senpai. And I love that. Shows you Nagatoro is growing. She might not realize it consciously yet, but subconsciously she does. Likely love her senpai that way, in a romantic light. And I love how she's trying to help him out by doing like the whole what to do if he's insulted bit. Counterattacks counter to that. And I even love the little nuances with their friends because I love how the orange haired one, she realized what was going on in Nagatoro liking the senpai and she took it far just to see how much she felt about the senpai. Like, I love even the little nuance sequences like that. Oh boy, the creepy looks pretty fun. That's a good point. <laughs> Yo, she looks like she wants to marry someone with that thing. Oh boy. I lucky. Yeah. Yeah, I mean shit, what what creep is going on, Nagatoro? Oh man. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a murder on episode four. <laughs> Of course, of a social, social murder, not not actual physical. But wow, overall though, next week looks absolutely fantastic. Can't wait. And then aside from seeing the girl from Nagatoro, I even love how they're spending time on some fun hobbies too, like playing video games. That's actually really damn freaking cool. It makes a relationship even funner to watch and funner to follow. Then aside from that, something else that I also felt went into the favor of the episode. I love the fact that for this one, we even get to see not just growth for her, but it was super hilarious. Like, every joke landed. And hell, there were even instances where I was like, yeah, Sampa, you, you, you really fell into the trap. You took the bait way too easily. And I love stuff like that, too. And then, there, and then aside from that, I do love to just like the accidental humor because usually when it comes to like accidental humor that the series has, other series try to execute it and doesn't succeed. I love how in this series that ain't the case. It does it pretty darn proficiently. 
And that's why I love the humor so much. And on top of that, the production values for high tier. Super fluid from start to finish. Great voice performances. And that's why I thought the episode was fantastic. You know what? I'll give it, yeah, 9.5 out of 10. It was just great from start to finish. And even had a lot of heart, too, surprisingly. And a lot of character development in a single episode. I was actually shocked. I was like, okay. Series was pretty darn great, but it's in this week's episode, I went into Grander Heights, and I love that. And yeah, that's why I was absolutely in love with the episode, for those of you that are curious. And yeah, these are my thoughts on the episode, y'all. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Hope y'all... Share the video if y'all want to, and I'll see y'all later if y'all come back for more. But anyways, y'all, thank you very much for watching my video, and have a fantastic day, everyone. Bye-bye.